And if you had sincere tawbah, Allah will forgive you. Will He not? Will He not? Of course He will. Islam has a solution to every problem, correct? So doesn't it mean that Islam has a solution to transgender or gender identity dysphoria? Does it not? Let's suppose we abandon them, we kick them out. Where do they go? Come on, give me the answer. Let's go. In the comment section, where do they go? Let's kick them out. Okay, where do they go? Show me, tell me. Where do they go? That if you've wronged yourself, it is only Him who can forgive you. And if you feel like that you can't be forgiven, that's the trick of the devil. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. Man, oh man, you like SQ? You back in the Bahamas? Yes, sir, I am. You can see the water. Beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed when I was editing the video. At least I enjoyed listening to it. Like while I was speaking, you heard the waves in the back. Like hitting the shore. Let's do a little ASMR before I give the message to transgender Muslims. Yeah, that's still happening. But let's first listen to the waves. You're like, SQ, you wore gloves today. Yep. I wore my construction gloves. All right. So now. The Messenger وسلم, said that there will come a time where the Muslims are going to be eaten like, like a plate. Correct me if I'm wrong, get in the comment section. The companions, companions didn't understand that there will be a time. Why, and they were just like, why? Like, this is just going to be so few of us that people are just going to violate us? The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said on the contrary, no. There'll be so many of you as if you're the foam of the sea. I'm not gonna, you know, take this off right now and show you, I usually would. Uh, but foam of the sea. Companions could understand. Uh, imagine the resources that we have versus the companions that they had when they were spreading Islam. Who had more resources? Us or them? But who has more Iman? Who's connected to the Quran or Sunnah? Us or them? And that was the real reason they were successful. The only reason actually. Resources. They didn't have resources. Look how much resource we have. I could be on a beach recording a video. Look at the resource. What is this? They they couldn't they couldn't fathom. Imagine with the resources that we currently have and the amount of manpower that we have what could the companions do? why can't we become the companions? obviously we haven't met the messenger we're actually his brothers, did you know that? SQ, when is the message to the trans, uh, transgender hijabis going to start? it already started it already started, you see you feel peace, calmness and tranquility not because you're gender dysphoria you know and let's 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 put ourselves in the shoes of our muslim brothers and sisters our they don't belong to anyone else if, okay let's suppose we abandon them we kick them out where do they go come on give me the answer let's go in the comment section where do they go let's kick them out okay where do they go show me tell me where do they go where should we send them? Okay, They're gonna, we're gonna create a LGBTQ masjid in which I'm gonna accept you because I know you still want the spirituality and I still want your money and loyalty. And I'm gonna manipulate you to make you feel what you're doing is correct and it's okay and it's them who don't really understand. It's them who are the misguided ones. And I'm going to start my own religion and teach you my own doctrine and create my own fatwas. It's happening, isn't it? But it's our fault. It's always our fault. 
we've seen a problem in our community and instead of handling it, dealing with it, we mocked it as if it was someone else's problem. Yet it came to our children too. You see, we are one body. One body. We're one body. You see, all these people who aren't Muslim, they just don't know about Islam yet. Once they find out about Islam, they'll come. They'll come in flocks. That's why they distort. You know the real dysphoria? It's how they distort the image of Islam. That's the real dysphoria. Because if they, they know that Islam is so pure, it's like spiritual crack. That's what Islam is, it's spiritual crack. It just, why do people go so hard? It's just, oh, Islam is awesome. Let's suppose it's us, we're sending them, we're sending them away, we're sending them away. Islam has a solution to every problem, correct? So doesn't it mean that Islam has a solution to transgender or gender identity dysphoria? Does it not? Yes, it does. The answer is yes. But it can only be solved when we acknowledge it's a problem if you and i keep running away from it saying it's all man-made it's all like in your head it's like i'm not denying that there isn't psychological consequences of this and anyone who has trans who has fully transitioned right uh look at the stories of those who detransition and ask yourself and look into the stories really ask yourself why are they doing it Look at the story to why they transitioned in the first place. A lot of them were young, impressionable, come from a specific type of home. There's, there's things, I'm not, and I'm not belittling your gender dysphoria at all. I'm not. Not at all. If this is how you feel, I'm willing to acknowledge that, okay, this is, this is how you feel. But I'll always tell you this. The solution is not to transition. That's that's my that's my opinion. That doesn't mean I'd stop you. I can't physically stop you. Does that mean I love you less? No. Does that mean I'd care about you less? No. Does that mean uh, I'd uh, I now all of a sudden uh, you know treat you unjust? Isn't Allah Subhanahu wa Taala on the day of judgment the most just? If Allah is just to you in the in the akhirah, how can I be just to you over here? Will Allah not question me about my injustice to you? Look at their stories. Look at their stories. Why did they transition? A lot of times they're impressionable at a young age. And they are feeling, they are feeling some type of gender dysphoria. They are. And they get the wrong mentor. That's what it comes down to. True story. Muslim, transgender. Not having interviews on my YouTube channel. Not, not real conversations. For this person, they always felt a sense of lack of belonging, right? And this dysphoria means that there's a disconnect and specifically with your gender, that you feel a specific way, like you were born a specific way, but you feel a different type of way. Okay, Khayyad, look, whether it's real or not, that's not what we're here to discuss right now, okay? The point is that we need to discuss is that it wasn't addressed. It wasn't shared with the parent. Maybe it was shared with the parent, but we're just naive. Like, uh, uh, this mentor that they received was someone in the form of a college professor. The college professor, I immediately identified that, listen, there's, there's something here. There's a disconnect here. Okay. So due to, in our Muslim communities, the lack of spiritual counselors, not just regular psychological counselors, a spiritual counselor, right? You know, why are we not creating jobs for the youth? Why shouldn't our youth be like 
how can I get a job at the masjid? Why are we as you know masjid board members not seeing the vision and the and the importance of having the youth being employed? Getting some of the best, you know, recruiting talent, intelligent people. Not paying our imams correctly. We don't pay them correctly. If we paid them correctly, maybe they'd be more impactful in our communities. It's a mistake on our end. It was a miss. It was a miss. And let's also not, you know, uh, jump to uh, and get to have like scared conclusions or anything like that, you know? Let's not come to that as well because, you know, sometimes we start feeling like, oh my God, transgender, uh, you know, people transitioning is taking over. That's not how life works. That's not, that's not how this works. You know what I mean? May Allah increase us all. So this mentor recommends a movie to their students. It was called Boys Don't Cry. Now, if you haven't seen the movie or if you're not a movie buff uh, such as myself, uh, it's about a story of a woman who was born as a woman and they felt as if they wanted to trans transition into the next gender. So they start, I don't know if they were taking hormones. I don't know if they necessarily were, but essentially uh, Hilary Swank, who's the actress and won an, an Oscar for this performance, you know, um, because it pointed out, I'm not going to go down that review, <laughs> halal movie reviews, huh? Um, they were, she, she didn't remove her breast yet. She had like the, you know, like if you rolled your ankle, you taped your ankle. Um, and, uh, yeah, just flat. So, and her hair was cut really short. So, so she looked like a dude, you know, in baggy clothes, looked like a dude, had a, you know, deep voice. Like, yeah, it looked like a dude. And it's a sad story, nonetheless. But essentially, this Muslim student saw this movie and realized that was the solution to their problems. And read the stories of those who have transitioned and now they are detransitioning. They said, that transitioning did not fix their gender dysphoria. They thought it would. Because the solution is the remembrance of Allah. Because that's the only way your heart could find ease. You thought it would be to transition, but your heart didn't find the ease. Because indeed in the remembrance of Allah, do hearts find ease. That's how it's supposed to be at least. But who am I? Just letting you know that if you are thinking of transitioning, do some research. Speak to the right people about it. Not people who are just going to be like, <laughs> speak to people such as myself. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to help you, link you to those who are more qualified than me. I'm not saying I'm the most qualified. But if you need an ear to talk to or just some advice, let's talk. You know, but oftentimes people who are Muslims, my nose is leaking. That's a sign. Let me see, are there more people here? Man, I gotta come out here a little earlier. They're walking their dogs and stuff. Oh God, I'm gonna be like, who's this guy? I'm like the only colored person on my block. Can you believe that? Anyways, anyways. If you have already transitioned, and, and some people, and, and this person told me as well, that, that when they transitioned, that's when they started praying and they felt like they were themselves and you know they were there you know that's when they got closer to Allah now I'm not I'm not denying that you felt better but the reason you felt better is because you were praying most of the time people weren't even praying prior to their gender transition they weren't and we have to understand that Islam has a solution to these problems to these issues, to these dilemmas, call it what you want. But it can only, and I'm not saying I'm going to stand here on the beach and figure it all out, but it is when we have these conversations, do the solution, like solutions come, come to fruition, you know what I mean? It, it comes forward. But that can only happen when 
um, you know, you actually you know, try to solve the problem by acknowledging that's a problem. And let's get our scholars, let's get our best minds, and let's, let's find ways to speak to them and give Dawa material, create Dawa material for those who are transi uh, have transitioned. Because those who, if you've transitioned, don't, don't worry. If you've realized what you did was wrong, if you have, you watch this video, it's just like, yo, SQ, this is me. Like, I've, I've, I've still, still not happy. You could detransition. How does that work? But SQ, I've, you know, uh, you know taken my, my, I've removed my body parts. Okay? Can't do anything about that. But you can stop taking the hormones, right? That's a start. Tauba, that's a great start. Okay, body parts are gone on the Day of Judgment. Allah will bring you back exactly the way He created you. And if you had sincere Tauba, Allah will forgive you. Will He not? Will He not? Of course He will. Sincere Tauba will get you forgiven. So don't ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah don't ever lose hope in his forgiveness just know that if you've wronged yourself it is only him who can forgive you and if you feel like that you can't be forgiven that's the trick of the devil he doesn't want you to feel like you could be forgiven because the more people he can have occupy in his hellfire the more happier he gets so he goes after each person individually. He doesn't have a cookie cutter plan for it. He has a tailor made plan to drag people to the hellfire. A tailor made plan. Not a cookie cutter, oh, same plan for everyone. Oh, didn't work. I guess it's going to. No. He, he, he attacks everyone indep independently, individually, by knowing their triggers points. You know what I mean? Allah can forgive you, He will forgive you. And just call out to Him. Put your head to the ground. Call out to him. Apologize for what you've done. Because you've acknowledged that, man, even in my transition, I still haven't found the ease or the comfort. It's because only that ease is found when you remember Allah. Honestly. I don't know. I don't have the answers. But I will tell you this. I am on my block. Let's see what happens over here. All right. I love you all for the sake of Allah. This, this video got a little long, but I hope I was more on target and point, minus the dog gate and the, and the, and the, and probably any other transition I went on, such as this one. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Um, once upon a time, I used to tell you to check out some of my other videos. Uh, then I would say, well, don't, you know? I don't even mention it anymore. Um, but I know you see them. So... I'm putting them because it's best practice. I'm not putting them because I want you to click them. Uh, as you can tell, I haven't promoted my Patreon. I am now. Uh, I haven't promoted anything like that. Just because I, I don't want to trouble you with anything, you know? I haven't told you to sponsor a Quran yet, which I am now. But I don't want to bother you. So I've saved it to the end, I guess. I just made it up, right? So I saved it to the end. So if you've made it this far... I'm putting those links. You don't got to donate them, but just, just make the A for its success. The Patreon stuff allows me to take the Shabab onto, uh, you know, more Dawa, like expand the Dawa, not just in Times Square, but do fun stuff in different popular cities, right? To bring the vibe there. And, 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 and I want to give out, the goal is to give out a million Qurans to educate a million people, remove a million Islamophobes. And I don't plan on giving, you know, alhamdulillah, last time I checked, we raised money, enough money for 26,000 Qur'ans, which are going to be distributed in prisons. It's going to be distributed in hospitals. And also, Dawah material to you guys. So I'm working on getting you guys a link. So if you want to give out uh, Qur'ans in your local city, we can send you a box over from those 26,000. That's the goal. From those 26,000 so that you can give Dawah as well. Okay, so you can run projects like this as well in your local city or in your masjid or whatever it might be, right? Um, and shoot, I might come over and pop by and help you out. Why not, right? Why not? Why not teach you how to do this? Teach your team how to do this, right? So if you're a masjid out there and you want your teams to learn how to do this sort of stuff, you got to invest, you know what I mean? Anyways, I got to go, guys. These transitions are crazy. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time. I'm out.